Welcome to my channel to Shazam Tree Growth Destruction in Houdini 19.5 Part 2. So, as you may know, today's video is inspired by. Hi again, this is Dyson. Glad to be here. Okay, as you may know, this one inspired by this scene of upcoming movie Shazam God and Fury. In the part one, we look at at the root and the helix and the ground and the bullet solver and sub level and the challenges okay in previous video we built this network as you can see and everything worked fine okay we have this simulation as you can see and we have these roots okay maybe let me increase the size of the ground here and increase this fracture and maybe the second layer okay to get something that's awesome okay that's cool and let's play and see what we get now okay something not right i guess the collision is not work correctly so let me adjust some setting to see that clearly okay let me template that and let's make this wider nice and maybe let's go to twist and adjust this one and yeah that's not bad okay and now let's play and see what we get okay let me see that okay as you can see it's not colliding with our roots correctly and let me show you the data as you can see let me show you the collision guide here yep it's obviously it's set to convex hull that's causing this uh, weird collision and let me play that to see that clearly yeah it's definitely convex hall so let's fix that by going to rbd configure and let's check this and change that to concave and let's play and see what we get now okay obviously we fixed the problem let me show you the collision guide here and voila we have clean and decent collision guide and that's cool so right now let me go to transform and adjust the height of the roots okay that's not bad okay that's cool and let's go to rbd configure here okay and let's add some bounce here to push the ground a little more and that's not bad for starting this effect and now we're gonna look how we can create a variation thickness for this roots as you can see so first let me increase the segment of the tube we need more roots here more helix root okay let me recreate this group here and the end one sorry the start one will be here and the end one will be here okay maybe this one okay let's hit enter and as you can see we have a more supply here or curve and let's see what we get now okay we have a lot of roots here and now let me tell you something cool there is a hidden feature in this approach called p scale attribute if we create a attribute here point float attribute and name it to p scale we can control the thickness of the roots that's awesome okay let me copy paste that here as you can see we're gonna control this thickness and i was searching for this for a long time so i'm so happy to find this one okay 
Now let's create attribute noise for instance to have a variation. Attribute noise, sorry, okay. And instead of CD, we're gonna use P scale, float. And as you can see, we have the variation, but not that variation we need. So let me delete this. And let me show you this fresh sheet. Let's go to primitive section. And as you can see, this number represent the roots number. So let me change that to primitive. And we assign the P scale to primitive instead of the point. So now if we create attribute noise, here and let me show you the spreadsheet again and let me choose that piece scale okay as you can see we have a unique number for each roots so now we need attribute promotion let me create one to convert p scale from primitive to point and let me show you here p scale and let's go to point and voila that's so smart clean simple and smart so as you can see we have a variation for each roots okay that's awesome and now as you can see we're gonna control this one and let me adjust some setting here to find the look I need so yeah we're gonna use this and let me play and see what we are facing here and that's the another issue as you can see the thickness changing over time so let's pay attention to this route as you can see the thickness is changing and that's not so good so that's because we using this P position for the noise and the position is changing every frame so let's delete the noise attribute and instead we're gonna use attribute randomization and let me change that to p scale and obviously the problem is gone so for better look let's go to this and let's change that to ramp here okay let me adjust this one a little quick here and that's the look i will use and that's so sexy i guess and that's the variation of the roots okay if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and help us to grow and big shout out for my patreon supporter thank you for supporting me on this platform and i have a surprise for you guys stay tuned for that and if you want to support our community please check my nft page here i have awesome offer for you so let's back to the video now we're gonna create custom force for this route so first let me adjust the transform of this roots here okay maybe a little bit down okay that's cool and let's play and see what we get before we begin and as you can see we have this craziness that's because we need to disable the bounce here okay instead of this let's go to bullet solver and create pop curve force nice we need a sub object let me let me select this one and connect it here and this one too as you can see i have the geometry here that's not what we need so what we need we need a curve here so let's create a null object and rename that to C underline force for instance and let's go to bullet solver and let me select this null here okay awesome and let's play and see what we get okay that's so crazy and let me decrease this one and this one and this one and let's play okay that's better so we need to increase the follow scale here and let's play okay that's 
awesome but maybe this and let's play okay that's better so let me decrease the radius here and let's play and that's nice let me change that follow scale okay and let's try suction scale okay that's suction let's put that to zero and let's go to orbit scale let's see what we get okay I love this one let's put that to maybe two okay let's go here yep I guess the roots need some lifting let's go to transform here and change that okay that's better let's play and see what we get okay we're getting there okay okay now let me see that yeah that's awesome okay i guess i need to trim this curve force okay for that let's go to c force here and let's okay we're gonna trim this let's create delete node here and let's enable bounding box and let me manipulate this one with manipulate tools okay we don't need this top section here okay we need this force at the bottom only okay maybe this one and that's better i guess okay and now let me see what i get here Okay, before we wrap up, we're gonna do one more thing. As you can see, these pieces is not feeling so heavy. Obviously, I can go to mass setting or density to increase the pieces density, but I have alternative for that. And we're gonna fix that by going to bullet solver setting and changing this time scale here. And let's play and see what we get. And as you can see, that's so better. Okay, in meanwhile, I add some fracture here, as you can see, and I tweak the constraint and enable the bullet solver constraint here, as you can see, and I cache the simulation out. And this final version of the project file will be available for my Patreon supporter and that's awesome result as you can see okay and that's the render version with arnold and honestly i am pretty happy with it so because i have a lot of requests for rendering this stuff i will make a video for that Okay, I challenge you to create this one with three roots and that seed and smoke. Wow, this awesome as you can see. So if you're interested, I will make instruction in the description. So I had fun with you guys and until the next video, take care. Bye.